Hello, welcome to Gamegasm, I'm Bren. I'm Jay. And today, what the hell is this, Jay? Uh, this is Deadfall Adventures. Where did we get this? Um, from the bargain section in game. Of course we did. Of course we did. I've never heard of this, so it's going to be interesting. Let's get cracking. Right. So we're going to adventure. Yes. Um, on an empty slot. Yes. I, I do have to admit something here. I did play a little bit of it the other day to test uh, some capture stuff, so uh, I do know a little bit about the front end of the game, but uh, you don't, and Jay is the person that's playing this right now, so I get to watch him squirm. Marvellous. <laughs> so interestingly, we can choose a different puzzle and combat difficulty. Yeah, see, now when I was playing it, the puzzles weren't that difficult, um, but it's not very friendly in the way it doesn't hold your hand at all, and... It, it, you'll see, you'll see. I'd leave it on normal is we're what I'm trying to normal. say. Yeah, yeah, we're going for normal. <laughs> we are normal. Yes, yeah. So we'll, we'll just leave it as standard. It's obviously what the game comes as a you know, preset with. So basically, this is all about um, uh, Alan Quartermain. Well, not exactly Alan Quartermain. It's about his son, who, which is uh, who we're playing. And I, I don't know if any of you out there have seen the Alan Quartermain movies. Have you? No. Nope. them? Did you know that they existed? No. Have you ever heard of Alan Quartermain? No. Right. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of people out there have not heard of Alan Quartermain as well. But there was a few movies, and I watched them when I was a kid. Uh, and it's basically like Indiana Jones. Just kicked it. It's, it's pretty much Indiana Jones. Hat and all. Yeah, yeah. And there's even like, you know, you'll see, you'll see. It's, it's so Indiana Jones, but it's, <laughs> it's good. Why is there a zombie driving the car? I know. Yeah, it's crazy. That is the worst British accent ever. Oh, oh my days! There's a bloody sandstorm. The nagging voice of your the sandstorm that bag stayed up perfectly straight, didn't it? Oh yeah. In any case, I'm sure he'll be worth the problem. You're seldom wrong, Professor, but today might be just one. It's pretty fit though. <laughs> Oh, oh, the zombie stole the bag. Yeah, who would have thought the guy like dressed like a freaking ISIS member would have taken a bag? <laughs> oh, <laughs> controversial. <laughs> oh, oh, left hook. <laughs> there he is. Quartermain. Well, the son of Alan Quartermain. I In think his name's James. Uh, Indiana Quartermain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's uh, James. Close up. I can't remember. Like I said, I only played for a little bit the other day. But. You should pick your drivers more carefully around these parts. Yeah, don't pick someone that looks like a complete terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. James Lee Quartermain. I was right. So yeah, as you can see, he's pretty much Indy. Indiana Jones. Yeah. So many books. I thought you'd be more the magazine type. Yeah, they came with the flat. Flat? This isn't a flat. <laughs> you come all this way to find me. I guess you don't just want my great grandfather's compass for your personal collection. Uh. No, it's of vital importance to our mission, and thus to the fate of our nation. Sounds dramatic. I think the price just went up. Oh yeah. <laughs> I want you to join our mission, Mr. Quatermain. Look, Professor. I called a couple of old friends and did some background checks on your little agency. I'm not really interested in that mythical nonsense you guys investigate. Voice acting leaves something to be desired. It's all right. Yeah. On you. A gambler as notorious as yourself could use some extra cash. Uh, playing the money angle. Someone with experience out there to watch her back. Oh, we could watch her back. Steady. <laughs> it's a nice back. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was going to slap her ass I was going to say, this belonged to you. <laughs> this is going to cost you. I hope you know that. It's kind of like standard voice acting, isn't it? Yeah. What's he doing with that book and that glass? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there's nothing in the glass. And he just poured it over his face because there's nowhere near his nose. He's got a drinking nose. problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm getting an 
Uncharted vibe from this as well. Then it, it is quite yeah. It's it's basically based on Alan Quatermain, which is a rip off of Indiana Jones, which is also kind of in the style of Uncharted. And yeah, you get the idea. So here we are. We're in kind of gameplay. Well, the intro. Yeah, I'm moving the camera. Oh, hello. Oh, chesticles. Oh, she caught you looking. She caught you looking. <laughs> look, 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 away, look, look away. Look away. Look away. Look, 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 look at camels. Camels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that guy throwing up? I don't know. He was throwing up. But I think the environments look quite good, don't you? Yeah. I mean, look. There's volumetric lighting from the sun peeking around the building there. The sand looks good. Plain. Ooh, it's so <laughs> pretty. Sky's blue. Sun is shining, palm trees, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Vital data to is she, is she British or is she I fucking South know. African? Vital data. <laughs> yeah, the ISIS member. We remember him. Wait, if you want to look at the character, all you get is boob. You can't actually... Oh, you can't look at her face? Can well, you? you can sort yeah, of. Yeah, it's just like boob. Boob. Okay, and we're out. We're out. We're moving around. We're moving around. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Saving. Okay. Oh, it's saved. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Watch your back, Jay. I'm watching it. Watch it. I'm watching it watch very it closely. Very closely. <laughs> closely. Okay. Right. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, yep. Right. We're off. Yeah, we're off on an adventure. So, yeah, you've got to go in this temple. We go in, we get what we came here for, and then we go out. <laughs> 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 right, so we can crouch. Yep, that's important. And... Ah, we can sprint. Whoa! Oh, oops, we suddenly double got guns. guns. Double guns, shoot them. Oh my god. I oh, know, right? It's nice how the game taught you how to do this before throwing it. Oh, it didn't. <laughs> oh, that guy's getting back up. Boom. It's not go. now. You can reload these revolvers pretty quick, can't you? Don't forget you can crouch. If, if it gets too intense for you. I can, yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright. Okay, he's good. Um, oh, just oh. Got, just got shot in the face. Oh. Uh. It's quite difficult to aim, isn't it? It's very difficult to <laughs> aim. <laughs> so I found that when I, when I did this bit, like, uh, I was like, "What? Why is he? He's just like pow, 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 shooting in every direction." So much for the welcoming committee. I'd say it was a pretty warm welcome. Uh, yeah. Um, right. So here we go. This now, this bit, I will admit, I actually got stuck on this for quite a long time. So I won't leave you too long. Before you get completely stuck, but uh, okay, so we'll see what you can do. Only one thing that can solve a problem caused by dynamite: more dynamite. Okay, okay so we so need that, dynamite. That is, so, so there there's a there's a clue. So we can pick up dynamite, uh -huh. which we've picked up. Yeah, you need to do something with that dynamite. So there's dynamite here. Dynamite. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of dynamite there. Okay. There is, yeah. Um. You can pick up more dynamite. <laughs> got more dynamite. Oh, you found it straight away. Did really? You use it. So, you know what there. I did? I saw the dynamite, yeah, and I was throwing sticks of dynamite at it. Right. Thinking that would work. Technically, and, that would. And the first time I did it, it didn't work. So, I was like, oh, well, that's obviously not where I've got to use the dynamite. So, I roamed around this area for too long. Uh, and then I finally got close to it and realised the A command. And I was like, oh, crap. Yeah. Alright. For a guy that's been around a lot of dynamite, you'd think he would have known that, that was going to happen. Yeah. I wouldn't have stood... Oh, oh. hello. Quite comfortable. <laughs> 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 going to give you a motorboat. <laughs> the Uncharted style music just kicked in. Yeah, it is quite Uncharted, isn't it? Like, yeah. I don't know if you heard it in the, the start menu there. Um, it's quite uh, Uncharted-esque. So now, like, that statue's been disintegrated completely. And it's... I've grown, apparently, I'm much taller than I was when I, <laughs> I think, started. I, I think you're on a hill. Am I on a hill? I think you're on a hill. No, it's pretty flat. The most powerful artifacts to be oh, there you go. Uh, it's about the, about the same. So we're on a mission to get the heart of Atlantis in this uh, 
in this temple. Okay. I mean, now, if you look around this temple, right, there's a lot of scaffolding. It looks like there's people been here for a long time, like, excavating all this stuff. Yeah. Like, you'd think, like, if there was a if there was a heart of Atlantis, like, the, the lost city of Atlantis, then, you know, someone would have found it by now. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. Look in every bloody corner. <laughs> in every much. crevice. In every crevice. I know what crevice I want to look in. Oh, steady no, on. Look, Easy, look, Chewy. There's, there's Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's get mm. in this temple. So, uh, yeah, you don't literally have to look in every crevice. The game I found told this out. me to look in every crevice. I know, but I'm <laughs> going to look in every... Look, there's, look. That's a crevice, yeah, I know. Uh, but like, I looked in every crevice and there isn't really a lot to find. Okay. So, it, was, it was just saying that there's a lot in this game. There probably is, actually. I probably didn't find it, but um, I don't think we should concern ourselves too much with it at this early on in the stage. But in order to level up, you need to find treasure. That's how you level up the character. Right. So it kind of forces you to go looking for it, which is uh, it's kind of good, I guess, because it means you, you're exploring a lot of different areas of the game. But uh, I didn't know the ancient Egyptians had lifts. I think that was installed along with the rest of the scaffolding. Guys. Right, okay. <laughs> Just to clear that up. And for some reason, I've now got a different gun. Marvellous. Uh, am I supposed to have this gun for this level? Is that what the issue here is? I don't know. That's a bit weird. Uh, if you press Y, yeah, you can swap between weapons. When did we pick up the shotgun? We didn't. But the game's decided to give me one. Well, hey. Well, hey. <laughs> She looks demonic. Look at that. Yeah. She's got nice eyes. Red eyes to match her red hair. Don't Can't shoot her. <laughs> Jason! you got to test these things. Yeah, I suppose. Most games don't let you shoot friendlies, do they? No. So, there you go. what is that? Um, it's a lamb with a beak. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Some sort of goat. Uh, moving on. Uh. <laughs> Um, yeah, who who goes around lighting all these bloody torches? I don't know. You know, yeah. no one questions these things in games. They'll, they'll put ele big electric lamps up, but they, they go around lighting bloody torches as well. What's powering the lamp? That's a very good That's question. What I want That's a know. good battery in there, isn't there? Yeah. Jeez. Anyway, obviously the game devs didn't see it uh, pertinent to uh, model cables running around the temple. So yeah. Well, where would they plug them in? You know. Good point. Do the honours. There you go. Take that out of her hand. Because oh, I, I don't know where she got that. The tear of whatever. It belongs in a museum. It does. Does okay. he, he kind of just fudge that in yeah. there? He's like... Bleh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> yes. Yes. I immediately regret this decision. <laughs> <laughs> So it all went black. It did. Many believe my great grandfather to be a crazy liar. Mm, probably. If you've seen the films. <laughs> in the dark. I was one of them. But what a beast lurking in the dark? Maybe. And here oh, are the Germans. The, there's always bloody Germans. These Germans isn't are good. I like these guys. But the tour is offen. Wir sind so gut wie am Ziel. Ah, the Yankee is awake. Not the way there's just a cross on this. Like, yeah, they they gotta be uh, gotta be PC nowadays. They can't put the swastika in there anymore, can they? No. Although uh, Wolfenstein got away with it, but I think that this was during that time when uh, everyone was like, "No, you can't put the swastika in there," and all that kind of jazz. So. How do you know our names? And thank you for confirming them. Again, most helpful. Oh, you bum. Good one. <laughs> Don't be so hard on her, Mr. Quarterman. After all, it was you who let her driver go. He was very willing to share everything. So were they waiting, the other side of this door? <laughs> it's confusing, isn't it? Yeah. I, I don't know. How did they get in here without the eye? Yeah. Or the tear of whatever it was. The tear of Isis. Oh. <laughs> Getting rid of loose ends, yes? Exactly. Wait, we might still need. Uh oh, he's freaking out. Courtmain's doing one. <laughs> Leave the girl. Well done. 
it can come pretty far. Let us see how far your boyfriend comes. Yeah, I know. It's it's weird English. <laughs> but it's weird because it's, it's German and it's English translated. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense, does it? No one proofread that, did they? No. <laughs> okay, here we go with the first puzzle. I can use my notepad. You can. Uh, just like in Uncharted, Quartermain refers to this handy notepad. And if you hold the left trigger, you can zoom in on it a little bit. And you'll notice that the pencil says adventure on it. Just to confirm the oh, fact yeah, that yeah. you are, are on an, an adventure. adventure. Yeah. And this is your adventure notebook. Yeah, with my adventure pencil. So th thanks for that, Nordic, for making that clear. So okay. yeah, so basically don't step on the snakes is what it's saying. Don't step on the snakes, but have I got to follow that line then? So we need to start from over No, 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 because no, 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 look, he's dead. He's very dead and he's obviously standing on a snake. So over there, look, there's three eyes in a row. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah, so yeah. just don't, basically, whatever you do, There's don't step eye. on a snake. Otherwise, it, I, and I did find this out the hard way. It is an instant death. By right, the way. marvellous. So <clears throat> that goes for the same with the puzzles later on, I guess. It, it is instant doom if you uh, mess it up. Okay. So just to let you know. Door. Yeah, there's a door. Um, I didn't actually look around this room much. Oh, what's that in the background? Something silver. Something silver. I'm like a magpie. I totally missed that. Uh, when I was playing. Yeah, treasure. So basically, um, yeah, there you go. You, unique qualities of the minerals from Atlantis. The treasures have various effects on Quartermain skills, or Quartermain skills, and can be used to upgrade <laughs> his flashlight, which the game hasn't told you about yet, but I'll tell you about it. I've um, got a flashlight then. You have? Marvellous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it's on the left bumper. Uh, it's not going to let you use it yet, but um, I think it is on the left, left bumper when you get it. Same symbol nonsense, like an Alan's notebook. Locked, maybe. So here we go, checking the notebook again. So what do you think that means? Uh, they both need to be eyes to pass through the door. That's what it seems like to me. Well, that one's an eye. And that one isn't. Hmm, dilemma. See how difficult these puzzles are at the moment? <laughs> we probably should have put it on hard. But then again, like, how would they make this more difficult? I'm, I'm not sure how much how much of the game changes depending on uh, the level of difficulty on the puzzles. Maybe they don't give you the notepad? Oh, no, that kind of, that's kind of taken out half the game, really, because the, the story is about his dad's book, isn't it? So, search all locations carefully to collect as many treasures as possible. With treasures, you can upgrade your skills at special oracle statues. Which like is that, that one. That, that big shiny thing over there. The dead guy next to it. Marvellous. Yeah. But um, maybe um, the puzzle element with the difficulty might be like Silent Hill, where they're fairly basic, but then when you change it to hard, then you need knowledge of certain, like, well, Shakespeare stories. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe. What what, what here? Do you need, like, some Egyptian onk? Maybe. Uh, Egy Egyptian hieroglyphic knowledge. <laughs> so, what, if you just... Are, are we upgrading that? Did you upgrade that? You upgraded it. Cool. No, I didn't. Oh, now you, now you have. Now I did. Okay, so you've upgraded that, and... Moving on. Uh, there is some... Ah, right, see, now, I looked up here. If you look at the top, see there's a gold thing up there? Yes. Now, I could not figure out how to get that down. I tried shooting it, um... I, I have no idea how, if you can get up there or if you need something else, but I got to the end of this level and uh, I, I couldn't figure it out, so maybe we can spend a bit of time here, but we should probably move on. Yeah, no. If I, if I can't shoot it, it doesn't work. We're not doing it. No, no. I, I literally could not figure it out. <laughs> nice, nice shooting text. <laughs> Aha! Thanks, game, for telling me that I had a knife. <laughs> well, in, in, interestingly, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you had a knife. Oh. How did you do that? Press, I pressed B. Oh, I see. Oh, now oh. I swiped the knife, and then they noticed I was there. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of them. You're gonna start shooting them. <laughs> oh, duck down. <laughs> don't, for, don't forget to left trigger because the, the this thing is so un, not accurate. You have to pull the left trigger. 
to focus the fire. That's it. Otherwise, he just literally just goes like freaking Yosemite Sam, like. <laughs> so there we go with golden switch. Oh, yeah, that. Oh. Smushy things. So yeah, um, but I think we should probably end this episode here and uh, wait to see if Jason can make it through the the stone pillars. Or get turned into mashed potato. You'll get turned into mashed potato. What, you made a potato? Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you'd like us to play more of this game, if it's intriguing you and you want us to continue, then please let us know in the comments below, and we shall. Uh, until the next time, I've been Bren. I've been Jay. And we've been Gamegasm. Gamegasm.